good morning and this is um, part two of the last video I made um, where I was talking about using cannabis as a tool to kind of reach the higher love vibration levels in order to speak to God um, work out some stuff in your life okay so now it's been um, eight, nine days since I last had a puff on a cannabis joint and the first few days were you know pretty cool still I was still, I was still buzzing um, and then the weekend was pretty good because I was with my son and then yesterday was pretty crap and today I'm feeling a bit better so that means to me that you know the cannabis has worn off and now I'm at my normal levels I've just woken up I, <laughs> for some reason I'm so keen to make this video um, and I'm going to make another video about talking with spirits in a minute but yeah I'm probably wrong about using cannabis so that is probably wrong of me to say that it should be used okay because it is an addictive drug it is addictive because it's nice right and you know we should be getting off that sort of stuff not getting on it <clears throat> so if you've never smoked cannabis before <laughs> don't listen to me because you're probably doing fine um, and if you do smoke cannabis all the time then do listen to me and do take a break um, and then it's up to you whether you have another one or not I don't know what I'm going to be doing this weekend whether I'm going to be having another one but I'm thinking I don't really want to have to go through this coming down because it feels so nice going up the levels of love but equally it feels pretty horrible having to come down and you know it's only temporary it's fake so you know I don't want that I want real stuff so I shouldn't have to be doing any cannabis to make me realize stuff and and I have you know I think on Sunday Sunday afternoon I I um, got to some emotions with my father uh, I watched this film called um, Flight and right at the end like this kid who's never really known his father you know it, it's kind of doing an interview for college and he says who are you and I thought yeah you know Wish I could ask. Wish I could have asked my dad that, and then thought to myself, "Well, not easy to ask him when he's dead, is it?" <laughs> and that touched in some rage that I had, which I hadn't really touched on before. And I went and punched <laughs> something I needed. To, I was looking for some punch, punched his bit of wood I had at my knuckle and I thought when I punched it I thought god you know that rage I've got and I I'm happy to hurt myself and then I could see the link with that and smoking fags still haven't stopped smoking fags though but they they have tasted different since then and I went off into the woods and I had a uh, broke some sticks and I was well, I was in the house first, I've got this cardboard box and I was imagining it was my dad's head. You know, I had this rage against him. And I, I could really feel it when I <clears throat> kicked it. And, <clears throat> and then when I went in the woods and hit some sticks around again, feeling the rage. <clears throat> and then I had a really, really good cry. A cry like... I'd never screwed myself, my face up so much when I was crying ever. 
I'm not doing this on purpose. It was it was doing it to me. Um, yeah, my even my tear ducts sort of hurt. Like they felt like they were all sandy or something. Anyway, something changed after that. And it's a bit too soon to know for sure whether it's a positive. Because my dream in the next night, I got my car impounded. Now that may not say like a good thing, sound like a good thing. And I lost my phone. It was like, but suddenly I was around people who I know are doing quite good, or I think, but it's like I say, it's a bit too early to say. But after last night's dream, it's pretty good. Ish. It's with my um, <clears throat> soulmate in my dream last night, and that was the first time that I've dreamt of her since I realised it was her. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. So, really what I want to say is um, sorry for giving Jesus advice because, yeah, seriously, it's very arrogant of me and that's one of my things to deal with, is arrogance. Right, <clears throat> so just about cannabis. Don't smoke it. Don't do drugs. It's bad, okay? Right. Bye.